Hi, I just found out about a style of music called phase music, and I thought it sounded very interesting, so I opened up FL to see if I could figure out exactly how it's done. Uh, and I think I got pretty close to doing it. I'm satisfied, at least. Basically, phase music takes a single motive, or at least phase music from as far as I've seen, takes a single motive and runs it over and over and over and over and over again. And between two or more musicians, they play very slightly offset from each other, I guess is how I would describe it, and it creates a very unique effect between two or more people. In FL, you don't need two more people, and you don't have two or more, so what you do is you write out exactly how long you want your uh, motive to be playing for in your original song. For this we have like 32 bars, I think. Yes, 32. And what you do is you have your tempo automation is how you're going to do this whole thing. Is how you're going to create that phasing effect as a tempo automation. So we have it starting at 170 BPM. Around here it gets to 160. Now it's at 149, 150. And then it gets back to 170 and near the end. So it should, by the time it's all done, be back together with each other. And what you're going to do then is... Uh, you won't be able to notice really anything too drastic in that. So what you're going to do is you're going to set it to song and then export a wave. It has to be a wave. Make sure it's a wave. MP3s, when exported in FL, have like this tiny little gap of silence that is really annoying. But uh, you definitely need to have perfect timing on this. Oh wait, yeah, I don't need to have the four. And then you just export it. Run to your desktop. Grab that. And then you're going to delete the automation. Now you have one that's running at 170 throughout the entire 32 bars, and you have one that is being tempo changed throughout the whole thing and when you play them together it gives it a very unique phasing effect and you'll get something like this Uh, you get the idea. Uh, I'm going to run through it once more, but with delay set for both of them. But the thing is, the delay works with your uh, DAW's um, tempo. So they're going to be using sort of the same delays as they run along, but this one, it hits at different times. It's, e yeah, if you've ever used delay settings, you get, you know what I'm trying to say. Not only are these two going to be phase separately, but their delays are also going to have some phasing in between. Uh, I've already run through this once, and I think it gets a little too hectic, but it is interesting. I think this style of music uh, definitely isn't played around with as much as it should, because it's very interesting. I think it gets a little out of hand, but it still is interesting. I think there are a lot of possibilities for this music that at least I am definitely going to play around with a lot more. So yeah, that's one method on how to do phase music. Peace out, Cecil Nomad.